Let's give it up for Zainab Johnson, everybody. Thanks for coming out. You ain't hear no music, because just in case this does go on YouTube, I, I can't pay for the rights. <laughs> so your claps are the soundtrack. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, OK, keep it going. We, we at The Crow, everybody's first time. Keep it going for everybody at The Crow. <laughs> Eva, Daniel, Olivia was here earlier, the owner, Nicole. A woman-owned space. This is not right. I mean, we knew that it was woman-owned. <laughs> when we saw the attention to detail, right? We knew. We was like, oh, this is... The only thing that might throw you is the crow, right? <laughs> we like, what lady put the... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Keep it going for uh, Adam. <laughs> Adam, oh, Adam opened up with Palestine. <laughs> I mean, it's not, but I, I think because, so, so before the show started, he came upstairs, he said, I, I, I keep forgetting at the top of the show. <laughs> at the top of the show, you ain't turn your, who is it, what was it? In a long, <laughs> you gotta take your medicine, just. <laughs> but it, it looked like you calling somebody back. Oh, you turned it off. Yes. <laughs> so now we know if we hear your phone again tonight, that means it's a ghost in the room, right? <laughs> it's all, you got it? Okay. Okay, I appreciate y'all. <laughs> Now, where was I? <laughs> Y'all, the audience is like, Adam. <laughs> I, was, I was right at the steps, dying laugh. I was like, I think he thinks he has to do what he's doing, but... <laughs> Way many more options. Before the show started, before the show started, he, he came to me and he said, um, he said, I, you know, I forget that you're Muslim. And I think that's a lot of people forget that a woman is Muslim if she's not wearing hijab, you know, because that's really the only visual indicator, right? And so I was like, oh yeah, I, you know, I'm always, you know, I, I'm very careful. He said, I saw my own. He said, yeah, a lot of Muslims down there. <laughs> <laughs> and so I peeked out. I'm like, oh, it's going to be a crowd. But it's like four. <laughs> <laughs> but that shows you, you got to keep showing up to comedy shows because that shows you how little you are seen. So, it, cause, uh, come on, it, you know, and I think he got up here and was like, <laughs> then, then he said, you know, Muslims, we marry our cousins. The black Muslims was like, no, wait, what? <laughs> That's the thing about like, uh, th th we never like publicly, we never have like the nuanced conversation, right? Like this, this happens, I believe it's like really known in like the Jewish community, but it is very, it's very common in the Muslim community too. There is religiously Muslim and culturally Muslim. And it's not that the two in the Venn diagram don't have crossover, but sometimes, it, you know, if, 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 a, if a black person is also, you know, identifying as Muslim, no, it's religiously. 
you know, we gonna do the religious stuff. You know what I'm saying? We gonna we believe that there's one God. It's a lie. My Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings, is his last messenger. You know what I'm saying? We gonna pray for. We gonna we gonna go to Juma. We gonna fast, but we not marrying our cousin. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we like, wait, now what happened? <laughs> you ever changed religions in a day? Now, wait a minute, what's, <laughs> what's the rules? We, oh no, I, <laughs> let me go down to uh, the first Baptist, cause I think, <laughs> I think they follow the rules. <laughs> I mean, I think that's definitely, you know, as he said, like Arab culture specifically. Uh, yeah, some, it was an Arab person in the back confirmed. It, yeah. <laughs> Black people, you know, we know it's just certain things we gotta wash our chicken and we not dating our chicken. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just certain things that are really like, you culturally black. I'm culturally a black American, you know, and so. I'm gonna do the black. I like how somebody popped the beer. <laughs> All this Muslim talk, let me drink my beer. <laughs> Keep it going for Adam one more time. Keep it going for Chris. So this is a crowd work show, um, and everybody knows what that means. Yeah. Do you have a notebook? <laughs> are you are you <laughs> are you taking notes of what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you work for a publication? <laughs> You're just a comedian, and you came to the show and sat in the front and. <laughs> huh? Wait, what? <laughs> I like how he's trying to stop me from getting to it. He's like, you're right, you're right, it's weird. It's <laughs> well, I just want to know if you're going to make money off of whatever you're doing. Maybe we could split the profit. <laughs> well, well, I'm, I'm so curious because this is so. Uh, I'll say this. You want to uh, take notes? <laughs> I, I, I have been uh, performing, I've been p touring a lot and performing like, w working on like a new hour, right? And Sunday I fly to Vancouver to film the last season of Upload. And I was like, I would just wanna do, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I mean, it's the last, no, <laughs> um, But I was like, oh, I wanna do something, to, you know? Like I feel like when I'm running my hour, I get very like, I get very, like, I want to do the material. You know what I'm saying? That's why maybe you guys see comics and we're trying to do our material, and then y'all want to talk, and we like, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> <laughs> any comic that believes they wrote some good-ass material, they like, I don't need your help. Okay, so. <laughs> but I wanted to just kind of, like, let it go and just kind of, you know, have a good time. And so I decided to do a crowd work show, which I've never, ever done before. I've, I've done crowd work when, it, when I have to, you know, but never just for like an hour. Like it's taking everything for me to not have something to, you know, just a joke in a pocket, just in case I say something and y'all are like, <laughs> feeling like Adam. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Writing it down. He's, he's, he's writing it down. <laughs> what did you write down? Call back to Adam. Huh? I don't know whether to like. Like, there's a part of me that's like. Oh, he came to like to class, you know? 
and this is and, and so part of it I, I feel like I should be kind of like flattered but it also it's like when you're when you're a comedian and you see somebody in the front with a with taking <laughs> It's like there's three terrible things that could happen. The cell phone already did, right? <laughs> Some violent person could come in here with a firearm. That would be absolutely awful, right? And some other comedian could be sitting in the front row <laughs> writing your material down. <laughs> And so what frightens me tonight is that two of the three things are <laughs> I like the black women, I don't like my girl, the ex <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I don't know, I don't, I don't know where the trope of killing the black person first in scary movies came from. Killed us off because they knew ain't none of this shit happening with a black person. <laughs> if there's no way a killer's gonna just be walking slow behind you <laughs> for blocks and catch a black person. No, we gotta, we got we gonna show them and then get them up out of here so we could <laughs> allow the audience to suspend their disbelief. Cause <laughs> especially a, a especially a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> we will face a killer like now I, I'm sure your mother wanted better for you <laughs> give you a compliment let me move the mask you cute <laughs> why you killing you cute <laughs> remake of that now a, a black lady removing like Jason or Michael Myers mask like you have come, I mean <laughs> this the problem <laughs> you don't even know <laughs> at the end of the at the end of the show um We'll read your notes. Because I want to see what's like, you know what I'm saying? I want to see like how the lesson plan went. <laughs> are you a comedian? You are a comedian. Yeah. Yes. And how long have you been doing comedy? Like, About a year. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, uh, good thing this is not near my written material. Uh, <laughs> We got to put this out fast, because <laughs> somebody else. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy if next week we saw a video with him like, black Muslim girl. Well, I'm actually El Salvador. <laughs> she said, what's his name? Get his name. So we... <laughs> and I like to do what my sis says. So what's your name? Keon? Keon? K-E-O-N? K-I-A-N? Keon. Okay, so we... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's YouTube. Yeah, it's probably like Keon is funny or something like that. <laughs> be right on her nose, right? Like Keon's notes. Like, if, 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 if. <laughs> So this is an all crowd work show. Um, and so I'll talk about what y'all want to talk about and I'll try to make it funny. Uh, um, and I think they sent around a, uh, ah. So do you guys want to call something out or do you want to start with, <laughs> uh, is that really what you want to talk about? Yes. 
Yeah. And when, in what context? Like, what do you, what do you want? You put the phone away. <laughs> we like written notes. <laughs> Don't tape, because then you post it before I could post it. <laughs> Let me do that, you know. In what context would you like to know where I stand? Would you like to know, you'd like to know where I stand? Really? Oh, I, I believe that it, I, we, I'd like to see a ceasefire. I think that it's terrible. I think that it's sad. I think that it's simple. I think that it has been conflated. It's been about uh, religion uh, and the way people identify, and, and it's not. It's about land. It is, it's, that, it's that simple. And what's crazy, what's crazy is, they don't know nobody be bothering the Christians about it. How did they escape this? <laughs> the, I'm talking about the Christians that's in the corner like, don't say nothing to them. The Olympics opening ceremony. <laughs> um, the uh, so I only saw like clips and things because I. I uh, but do, are you talking about the? Um... No, just the whole thing was a mess. Okay, so she has an opinion. <laughs> So what happened? Celine Dion. Yeah, Celine Dion. She was able to sing because you know for a minute she that that was that was um, that was awesome. yeah that was wonderful. I don't know. I, I I was talking about this on my podcast. Like I wasn't sure if France was the best. Like does every country have to get the Olympics? <laughs> I don't really know the rules. I feel like the older I get, like I feel like when I was a kid and I watched the Olympics, like it was just like the joy of seeing people flip. You you know. <laughs> But like the older I get, like I'm downloading more information. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, what y'all doing? Like, <laughs> it's kind of wild. Even um, Jordan Childs, right? That's yeah. that part. I, was, I, don't, I don't know who to be mad at, the judges or the coach. Yeah. But then they, right? I don't know, but. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you ever have to face a hard truth? Like, I'm watching it all to understand. I'm like, okay, so she did a special move and they didn't give her credit for a special move. And then the coach was supposed to go back and, 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 and um, you know, contest it within a certain amount of time. And then she didn't contest it within that time. But, oh, no, wait a minute. They got proof that she did contest it at a certain time. And the whole time I'm like, but I still can't do a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> you saw the um, balls at the opening ceremony? A ballet dancer, so, so the people who follow me and really like to fact check me, I make many mistakes, okay? I talked for 10 minutes about Jordan Childs and I was like, the mat, the mat, the mat, they screamed. They was like, it's a floor routine. <laughs> How dare you? And I get it, because when people say that stand-up comedians are doing skits, I'm like, who the fuck is doing a skit? This is not. <laughs> A skit sound casual, you know what I'm saying? A skit sounds. <laughs> so they correct me, which I appreciate, I accept. You know, I, I, I'm, you know, I don't mind being corrected. I learn in that way, right? Um, what was I saying? The balls. The balls. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was supposed to be you. <laughs> throw men away, I'll be like, at <laughs> least for two minutes, right? We'll go and get them out the sewer, but, but some of y'all, we just gotta. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was watching the video, I was watching the video with the opening ceremony because it was so much controversy about the Last Supper possible tablet, right? 
Yeah, it was, a, it was a lot around that. And so I'm just, before I talk about it, I'm just trying to like just watch it. Watch. And as I'm just looking at it, and here's the thing, I got to do two things. I got to watch the stuff from the Olympics, and then I also got to educate myself on The Last Supper. <laughs> <laughs> I admittedly don't know most things about the Christian stuff. I really do, I don't, I just, and it's crazy because my grandmother tried to convert me so many times. <laughs> like so many times. And I, so I should know, a li I should know enough at least to like, you know, <laughs> give her a good argument. But I don't, so I had to educate myself on the Last Supper. And as I'm doing all of that and like looking at these images, I'm like, is that a testicle? <laughs> <laughs> Right there, just that, it's the, 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 this dancer, this dancer. Somebody, somebody was like, that's not a testicle, that's his thigh. I'm like. <laughs> if anybody ever thinks that your testicle and your thigh are the same thing, then you have to go see a doctor. <laughs> because you have a lump on your thigh. <laughs> it looked like a testicle to me. So I just believe it's a, it was a testicle. And he's a, like, he's a, like a really known like French ballet dancer, like really respect, like put some respect on his name. I don't know it, but put some respect. <laughs> Jacques Jacques. <laughs> you know, to be honest, to be honest, I think I, think I do got a little bit of, I, I, should, I shouldn't say this because I have two Paris shows in the fall. Uh, <laughs> But I do have, it's hot up here. Uh, <laughs> I do have like a little bit of like probably PTSD because some, a few years ago, over a few, like probably like seven years ago at this point, my sister and her husband, they took me on a trip. They were living in London at the time and I was visiting and they're like, oh, for New Year's we'll go to Paris. And we got on a train and went to Paris and I was so excited about Paris. Like we did everything. We went to the Eiffel Tower, we went to the Louvre. I didn't get it. Um, <laughs> I, not no shade for the loo, but it's just so big and so massive. I was just, after like the third hour, I was like, I, I think I get it, you know? <laughs> but that, that aside, the thing, that, the thing that left me like with a little bit of like, <laughs> I sat down at a restaurant, like a known, like a poshy restaurant. And my sister and her husband, they love like the steak and the fritz and the, you know what I'm saying? And the seafood and all of that type of stuff, the rich stuff, right? I was like, oh, I'ma just have a salad and some fries. That's what I eat every day, salad and some fries, right? <laughs> so I was like, oh, can I have a salad and some fries? I even tried to like meet him where he was at. I was like, and some fritz, you know what I'm saying? Like I tried. <laughs> But you know, here in the States, we get a lot of options for salads, right? And we get the option to have the salad as the main course, if that's what we want. I think that's a us thing. <laughs> because I was like, he was like, okay, so you want, uh, forgive my, forgive this. <laughs> the accent, forgive it, but I'm just gonna do what I remember. <laughs> It's not probably gonna be accurate, but the attitude's definitely gonna come across. <laughs> he was like, um, I said, oh, and what type of salad is it? And he said, eh. <laughs> it's a lettuce. <laughs> I said, no, 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 I know, cause you know my toxic trait, I say it all, it's optimism. So I'm like, oh no, no. Lettuce, yeah, because it's a salad, but like, what kind of lettuce? <laughs> he was like, is that lettuce? Is <laughs> so then I'm like, you know how sometimes I'm not the type of person that's going, we're not going to be saying the same thing over and over and over again. <laughs> I'm at least going to try and switch up what I'm saying to see if that helps with the comprehension, right? <laughs> trying to prove a point. I ain't trying to be right. I'm just, I'm just trying to get what I want, right? So, so I go, no, 
no, no, no, no, no, no. I know, but like, like, is it spinach? Is it romaine? So because I had been in London for like the past couple of weeks before that, you know, they call arugula rocket. So I'm giving them all a European tea. I'm like, is it spinach? Is it romaine? Is it rocket? Like, I'm trying to get, you know what I'm saying? He was like, is it lettuce? <laughs> I said, get me home, get me home. <laughs> Bring me the letters, but didn't get me home. But I'm, I'm a person that it don't matter how beautiful a place is, it doesn't matter what they can offer and experience, how inexpensive it is, how expensive it is. If I don't eat good, it hasn't, it's, not a, it's, not a good, it's not a good trip for me. So, where's the camera? <laughs> Okay, the balls. Uh, the testicles, forgive me. The, 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 the testicle. oh, the, uh, the testicle, it was one. It was, yeah. I wanna be accurate, cause it's like, one ball is like, that's an accident. Two balls is like. <laughs> you knew what you was doing, Mr. Ballerina. Is a male ballerina a ballerino? Is it a, it's just a ballet dancer? We don't know. Um, I don't know if I was done with the Olympics. But. Okay, I like for the first one to pick up for me to have no idea what this is. Um, <laughs> it's in quotes, it's in quotes. The first part is in quotes. I feel like now we could play uh, charades. Okay, so two, <laughs> two words. <laughs> Uh, the first word is in quotes, it's mask, M-A-S-C, and then it says to GBTQ. Now, these could be nuclear codes. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if you wrote it down, you know who you are, so do you want to help us understand, or you just want me to mask? Oh, it doesn't say to, I'm so sorry, it says LGBTQ. But, but it looked like a two, though. <laughs> it do look like, it look like a two, right? Yeah, so, you know, I just wanna put this into evidence, Your Honor. Uh, <laughs> mask, does anybody that identifies the LGBTQ community, does anybody know what mask is, sir, do you know? Oh, masculine. <laughs> Whoever wrote this is 37 or older. Um, <laughs> or 19 or younger, because <laughs> the fact that you abbreviated masculine, I'll be doing that, trying to seem young, I'll be abbreviating shit. But <laughs> I'll be texting all my friends, like, no press. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do, like, oh yeah, yeah, I mean, if you wanna do this, but no press. <laughs> and all my friends that are 35 and above be like, Zainab, <laughs> Why? You see, we never respond back to the no pressure. <laughs> just say the full word. Like, the, 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 the phone is finishing the word anyway. It just... <laughs> so that means you're purposely <laughs> in an attempt to be cool with us. We're the same age as you. You can just... <laughs> I think I would have known it was masculine if it were. How do I feel about ma- so, so, was this yours? No. <laughs> I just don't get the content, like, can, like, can- <laughs> You know, it's it, you know, this the details really do matter. <laughs> Because I, it's like clearly it's, you know, like faux, right? Um, you see how I just be switching the terms in my head? Because in my head I said fake. <laughs> All I see is your phone. <laughs> Go ahead, just, you, you, between you and him, we got, we got what we need. <laughs> just keep it going. <laughs> But then when I was under here, it felt like stuff was falling, like it was real. It was, what if they put real dirt in there just for the... <laughs> Cause 
you know, the owner with Nicole put dirt, real dirt in there just to, no, okay. Um, I think being masculine. <laughs> well, I'm acting like I, I need glasses. I think, <laughs> I think, <laughs> <laughs> One time I was in a Foot Locker. I was probably like a senior in high school or something. I used to play basketball. And I was in a Foot Locker. I had on my, like, you know, windbreaker suit, like the track suit, basically, and some sneakers in my back. So I had cornrows, like long cornrows. And somebody came up to me, a guy came up to me from, like, somebody who worked at the store or something was like, excuse me, sir? I was so mad. <laughs> I turned around. I was so, I was like 17. I was so pissed. I was like. <laughs> But from the back, it's like it was equal opportunity. You know what I'm saying? It was just like I'm a young athletic girl with cornrows, like it in tall. It, like it could have went either way, you know. But I was just like, I have a boyfriend. He was like, Oh, so you gay? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, We was concerned we wasn't gonna get a lot of it. Thank you for saying. Oh. <laughs> no, okay, I'm kidding. Because I didn't read this right. Trump saying Elon Musk full throat. <laughs> but you know what? It's like if if for no other reason, I'm, I'll, I'll say it full out. I do not want uh, Donald. Trump to win. Did y'all know? Did y'all know that Kamala's father's name is Donald J as well? <laughs> when I when I saw that, I said, "Okay, yo, this ain't even about us." You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this ain't about us. Um, I don't want Trump to to win. I'm not gonna vote for Trump. I did not vote for Trump. I won't vote for Trump. I don't care what he does. Trump put a Muslim ban in, and that, and that don't even ban me. And I, I just, I, I can't get with, with uh, Donald J. Trump. Um, <laughs> what, does anybody know what the J stands for? Wouldn't it be funny if it stands for Joseph? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows what the J stands for? That's wow, we, he, I can't, he, it's, we, okay, we gotta make this go viral so he could be like, the J. <laughs> <laughs> stands for just the best. <laughs> I can't do a Trump impression. I'm so sorry. I wish that I could because I would do an hour of Trump. Um, you just gotta, he says, he says the craziest thing. And you wanna know what's, no, nobody ever, when they're recording, no one ever gets a reaction shot. <laughs> Wouldn't it? If we could do a compilation, that would be so funny. Is every time he says something wow, just one person like. <laughs> Why are there no reaction shots? You gotta react. Elon Musk is another one. My friends was like, <laughs> giving me, I had a Tesla for a little while and my friends were like, mm. <laughs> and I was like, you know, it's so crazy. Cause it's like, I remember when I don't, know, I, don't, I don't feel like as a kid, I remember my parents coming in the house every day like, you know, we got a boycott stuff. I just don't remember that. Like, I know the big boycotts in history, like the bus boycott, I know the big boycotts, but like, I feel like some years ago, every single, there was, you know, every single, there was an alert sent out. Every single day, like, all right, do we not fucking with them no more, you know? <laughs> And I remember, I remember, and I know they're all awful. I know they're all awful. I remember just thinking like, oh, please don't say Target. <laughs> and then I went through this thing, this same thing, same thing that happened when I, right as I was stand, starting stand-up, I was a strict vegan, strict. The only thing that I probably ate that wasn't, it was, it's honey. 
but I was strict. And I had read this book called Skinny Bitch. My friend got it. I watched the I watched the movie where they killing the chickens and you know what I'm saying. All that. and I and the the thing from the book was like, whatever you do, make sure that you read the ingredients. That's that's your task. Not to just cut things out, but whatever you eat, make sure you read the ingredients, and you should only eat every ingredient that you know. So now I'm walking around frail. <laughs> <laughs> Buku fat, where? Because I'm reading the ingredients, and then after a year, I'll never, I'll, I'll never forget that particular year because it p became apparent to people. I, had did, I did, went vegan, but then I fasted for Ramadan. And by, <laughs> by day 14, my friends was like, What is it, inshallah? <laughs> we gotta, <laughs> we have to do something. Either when the sun goes down, you're gonna have to eat meat and cakes and we, we gotta do, cause this is, like it wasn't just that I had became thin, I had no muscle, I had no, you know, like nothing and you know. And I feel like it's the same. It's the same like, okay, Elon Musk, yeah, we know he's, he, we know, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like, we live in a capitalistic country. Unless you got a little farm <laughs> and you're not using any gasoline or electricity. And I'm not saying don't protest and don't fight to change certain circumstances that we're in, don't fight to, to make it better. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying if you think Honda care about me more than <laughs> Tesla, they do not. But the moment there's a good, nice black lady with a car company trust, I will have. <laughs> I don't even know what that car would be called. I will, I, <laughs> well, well, yeah, I, you will be right. The honk will be like, move, bitch. <laughs> Car, I don't care if it's $30 billion, we'll all pitch in and have one of the cars. <laughs> Y'all wanna call some out or you want me to? Anybody wanna call some? I like you, where did, where did you two lovely people come from? Right here, you, yeah. <laughs> in oh, in the neighborhood. <laughs> I already know it ain't fruitful. I'm a, uh, <laughs> I figured, I was like, maybe they're, uh, um, although it would be nice if you just, if you follow me. Like, I just get a kick out of that Zaynab girl. <laughs> it's coming to Santa Monica. Thank you for coming to the show. Oh, being demure. Oh. <laughs> I like how we went from masculine to, you know, listen, but that go together, being demure with masculine, right? Like, mm, shut up. You yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> is being demure, like, is that a thing that people are saying that women should be? No, it's like a TikTok thing. It's a TikTok thing. Yeah. Oh, dang, it's so crazy. That's not on my algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> what are they saying about being demure? Is she is she like commenting or is she being sarcastic and, and commenting on or is does she really think she's no, being demure? Mindful. Oh, she's she's being demure and mindful and cutesy. Yeah. Yeah. She's being demure, mindful and cutesy. Yeah. You know she a serial killer. <laughs> Cause if you demure, mindful and cutesy, you don't even have to say, you know what I'm saying? You don't if you outside saying like I'm cutesy and mindful and demure, it's like yo, check check her basement. 
anybody telling you something that if they just be, you could see? It's like, oh no. Oh no, it's somebody down there. Like, won't anybody check my location? Does everybody have their location? Like, does everybody share their location with like a close friend or a. Yeah, yeah, no? Share, you gotta share your location. You have, you have a cell phone, right? Yeah, yeah. You got a cell phone. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm like, this whole block. I... I'm like, oh, no, is it, is it, is it, is it a bit warm in the room? Is that what's it's taking you out? Okay. She like, what? Well, it's warm. It's warm. It's one, we can't, it, I mean, you know, we could turn on the, uh, the, the AC, but then it'll mess up the sound. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, so, but if y'all, you know, if y'all wanna leave, cause you too hot, to, and then I'll caption it like, comedian upsets crowd. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'll go to TikTok and be like, okay, so I'm the comedian that the crowd walked out on. And... <laughs> all right, so let me give y'all the story. First of all, um, I'm cute. I'm Zamior. I... <laughs> I was being mindful, and that's why I was like... I don't know how to be cutesy. I, um, like if I end up being cute, it's all by accident and I appreciate the universe working in my favor. Um, but I don't, I really don't like, you see, even I was about to be like. <laughs> I so admire like the women who can just turn it on. Like I just, I could do, I could do that for a little, yo. <laughs> do it for like three weeks <laughs> if we make it past the three week mark then I'm gonna stand up straight and be like wait a minute um, <laughs> but like for three good weeks I'll be like hey, you, 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 I'm to <laughs> and just let him you know I don't even know what you could blindfold that's how unhelpful I am right I'm just a passenger on your ride, you know what I'm saying? Just a cute passenger. And then third week and one day, I'll be like, we'll be going? <laughs> <laughs> and how you plan on getting here? Wait a second, okay. Let's game plan this. Um, yes, I'm sorry to this, to this one. Huh? Oh, it was the iPhone droid thing. Look at you, thank you. So do you, you don't, do you share your location with anybody? No, not even your friend, I mean, I guess y'all together right now, so. <laughs> y'all friends, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Best friend, oh, and you don't share your location with her? <laughs> but do you, do you share your location with her? <laughs> Yo, but imagine that news story. She gets kidnapped. Well, why? Do... <laughs> Unfortunately, we couldn't find. What's your name? Uh, it's Sam. It's Sam. It's Sam. Am I saying that right? It's Sam. Unfortunately, we couldn't find. It's Sam. She's been missing for thirty-six hours. <laughs> Girl, why you ain't share your location? She ain't. <laughs> You gotta just let the ego go to be found, you know? <laughs> I, I, I share my location with any, like my friends who act, cause it's like my friends, what, what, they, 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 my friends ain't, did something happen? Hi. Are you just, are you just trying to? <laughs> <laughs> they were standing there for so long though outside what this what what why did they decide to make a noise now they had already watched 37 minutes of the show <laughs> let's see i don't even know how long i've been up here i normally time myself but this time i didn't um dang y'all don't share y'all location my i my friend <laughs> 
I um, I was in New York, and there's a club, there's a comedy club that you don't get a good signal. And I was at that comedy club, and then I went back to my hotel, woke up the next morning, got on a flight and everything, right? And my when I landed in L.A., for, I'm on a flight for close to six hours, I had a barrage of texts. Then everybody's calling me. Are you okay? Are you okay? I said, yeah. I, I mean, my flight just landed. I'm confused. <laughs> They're like, well, <clears throat> Aisha, so Aisha is one of my closest, oldest friends. It was like, well, Aisha, Aisha said that you, your location, your phone was still at the comedy club and you not that, from last night and your phone is still there and it's not moving. So she was called. <laughs> she called every person that she had ever met in my life. <laughs> And I wasn't even missing for a full, I wasn't missing, but, but I wasn't even allegedly missing for 24 full hours. And she was like, oh, <laughs> I'm a fine Zaina. <laughs> and, and then she, she called me, right? After, like, I laughed so hard with my, <laughs> So, it, it, I, I'm like debating in my mind, like, do I say this because I don't want to sound like whatever, but one of my closest friends is Tabitha Brown, right? If you know who Tabitha Brown is, her husband used to be a police officer. So she calls Tabitha. <laughs> so Tabitha said, oh, Chance, we got, call it in. Zaynab is missing. <laughs> <laughs> so I called Tabitha, I said, Girl, I, what? She said, Aisha called me, and you know, you know, I know Aisha don't lie. I know Aisha, I know if it's an emergency for Aisha, then it's an emergency. So I said, oh, we gotta find, you know me and Chance. I, <laughs> My friend Will was in a whole nother country. He called me, he said, are you good? <laughs> Aisha said you was missing. <laughs> I said, where are you? He said, Australia. I said, well, what was you gonna do if I was? <laughs> I finally, I finally speak to Aisha. I finally speak to Aisha. <laughs> and she picks up the phone. She, she's embarrassed. <laughs> she, I, I call her and she's like, I know, Zayna. <laughs> I, I know. It's just that, you know, you know, boo. This is how she always called me boo. She said, you know, boo, you be all over this world and you don't really be telling, you just be moving and you don't always tell people. And so I just, you know, every, every other day, I just be like, what my boo doing? <laughs> Which, as much as I share my location with people, I didn't know that they check. <laughs> the way I have never checked anyone's location. <laughs> get the APB before I'm like, oh, hold up. I got the location. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but before that, I never, my friend was like, Aisha was like, no, like every other day, I'm like, let me see where Zainab is at. <laughs> and I was like, good thing I'm not a liar. <laughs> right? Good thing I don't be like, yeah, girl, I did, and telling some other story, because she would be like, oh, yeah, really? You in? <laughs> You know that people have you repeat a lie when they know you lying? <laughs> so you said you in Puerto Rico? <laughs> <laughs> she apologized and I said, but you know what, Aisha? I'd rather be found. Mm -hmm. I said, so as much as you was embarrassed this time, don't let that deter you the next time. <laughs> <laughs> when they really do get me. <laughs> Don't be like, well, last time I was wrong, no. <laughs> Follow this instinct every single time. I'd rather everybody be panicked and me come home than y'all like, she missing again? <laughs> and now I'm in, I'm in the basement with you, like. <laughs> My location is on.
All right, I gotta wrap it up. I know, right? <laughs> Yo, I want one more, yeah. Yo. <laughs> he said, if you didn't hear him, he said earthquakes. Have, let me just tell you something. I felt that earthquake. I, I was in Egypt last week, um, and it was beautiful. And the fact that y'all wasn't like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it, you followed. <laughs> y'all was just like, okay. <laughs> Are you doing a bit? Because he said earthquake, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I had just gotten back. I was happy to be home. I was like, ooh, I got, I got the few days at my house, in my space, before I got to go to Vancouver, right? I'm, si I'm sitting on the couch. I'm folding laundry, right? I got something, you know, something playing on. You know, one of the, I don't even know what show it was because it's a background show, you know? It's playing in the background. And then it sounded like, I, I heard it first, and I didn't know that that was what happens with earthquakes. I thought that it's silent, and you'd be like, and you gotta feel it and see it. <laughs> but I heard it first. I heard it first. It sounded like something, like, cra it's, it sounded like something hit the ground, something big, almost like something crashed, right? I actually thought that's what happened. I thought a truck had crashed, and I'm like, Damn, a well, I looked out the window, I turned around, like, cause it don't really be no trucks on my bus, so I'm like, it's only the Amazon truck, so I'm like, like damn. <laughs> <laughs> then, right after I heard it, then I felt it. I mean, shook, bad, and I said, the truck done came into my house. <laughs> and I'm in the front of the house, and so it ain't a truck in the front, so I'm like, how the truck get to the back of the house? <laughs> It don't even hit me that it's an earthquake. I'm like, there is a truck in the back of my house. And not no little truck, I'm talking about a tractor trailer in the back. A 18 wheeler, whatever the big trucks in the back of my house. I get up, I get up and I, you know how you, it's like you don't really wanna know the truth so you go slow. <laughs> Cause, cause in my mind, I'm trying to prepare myself. Like at the, the, the slow walk. <laughs> what if that was the same person that popped the beer? At the beer? <laughs> you okay back there? <laughs> I'm, I, I'm walking slow. I'm walking slow to see what I believe is like the inevitable, right? And I'm only walking slow, cause it's like, I'm not even thinking like, the truck could still be, maybe the driver gonna get out, like, I, I, I ain't even thinking that. <laughs> I need the time in between where I'm at and the damage I'm gonna see to remember if I have the right insurance in place. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? If I can financially take care of what I'm about to see. I get to the first guest room, and I say, okay, there ain't no truck. I get to the second guest room, it ain't no truck. I go into my room, and I'm like, that was an earthquake. <laughs> then I go down to my phone, I Google earthquake, and then I see, Google, you know, Google was like, earthquake today. <laughs> I said, oh, who the fuck got to Google before me? <laughs> then I text all my friends that are in LA and I said, y'all feel that earthquake? <laughs> oh, I got like six texts, girl. <laughs> and then it hit me, I looked down, I was in my house in a t-shirt and underwear. <laughs> and I was like, 
I, I was so vulnerable. <laughs> you know, you don't think about, because I'm sitting there just folding clothes, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I ain't been in my house for the past three weeks, so yeah, I'm just in a t-shirt and some underwear. <laughs> But if for some reason, I, and we don't never really see that, right? When we see like end of the world movies and shows, we don't never really see nobody run out like. <laughs> Cause I think in television, like this is like, you know, this is like a SVU episode. You know what I'm saying? This is like, this means something different like in cinema, you know? But really, when most of the stuff be ha even when we think, remember that, that um, uh, movie on Netflix with Sandra Bullock with the, with the uh, birds? Oh, yeah. It's like they showed that everybody was fully dressed. <laughs> and then nobody even run out trying to put on their card again, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> everybody just prepared for the disaster? I realized I was unprepared. I had no shoes on. I didn't even have shoes ready at, like I have shoes at the door, but like they didn't have the right insole. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even ready to like get out there and, and, and fend for my life and try to be the next wave of humanity. I'm just. <laughs> and I called my friend, I said, yo, we gotta get, like, we gotta get some bags. <laughs> Some bags like emergency kit bags and like fill them and put them by the door just like with whatever you think you need you know what I'm saying something light though it can't you know you got to tell people like it's just like now you got to check luggage by the door and it's like oh. <laughs> you know just like make sure you got some pants some comfortable pants in there a hair tie that's my pet peeve <laughs> all the women they fighting the zombies and they trying to get in their hair just out I'm like <laughs> First thing I'm doing, ponytail. <laughs> First thing. <laughs> right? <laughs> we gotta, we gotta do the survival bag, you know, and just put it by the door. And if it, if we never use it, then that's a blessing, right? But if something ever happens, then we just. <laughs> Let's talk about my panties later, but I. <laughs> when we get to the spot, then I'ma get dressed. <laughs> it was so scary. And right before I got, right before, like when I was first shopping for my house, which was in 2020, um, my grandmother lives in Michigan. And, oh yeah, are you from Michigan? Grand Rapids, oh, okay, my grandmother lives in Lansing. I should probably not have said that. Um, <laughs> and my grandmother is that type of woman Well, she'll be like, I, I heard you said my address on YouTube. <laughs> it's like, Grandma, ain't nobody say your address. <laughs> okay, I mean, I understand you make people laugh, but. <laughs> respect my privacy <laughs> my grandmother lives in Michigan and when I was t you know I t told her I was like oh yeah you know she's like what's like what's new with you I was at her house she was like like what's going on with you and I was like yeah I just started shopping for like a house and she was like in California and I was like yeah and the crazy thing is my mother was born in, Cal in northern California my grandmother lived here for a little while and so um, I was like, yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be a good thing. First thing my grandmother said, she said, you sure you wanna buy a house with all them earthquakes? <laughs> and I got so mad at her, cause I thought she was like hating on me. <laughs> Seriously, like not like, not like peer to peer hate, but that thing that sometimes our elders do when they want, like, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes they can't just say I'm proud of you or they can't really emote and be like, I would really love it if you came closer to us. Instead, it comes out in like a, a negative way. And so I thought she was being, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, all of them earthquakes. So I immediately flipped. <laughs> I've been living in LA for this long and ain't no earthquake get me yet, so. <laughs> Cause you know that energy, it'll transfer. Like that hate got right on me and I was like, what is it? So, yeah. <laughs> this whole time, I ain't earth, every day, no earthquake, so. <laughs> My grandmother was like, I'm just, I'm just, 
<laughs> you know they already disrupted your day and then they try and bow out. I'm just... <laughs> I mean, you know what you want. <laughs> so when the earthquake, after I realized it was an earthquake, the first thing that came into my mind was my grandmother like, I told you. <laughs> but it was scary, it was scary. Um, all right, any closing remarks? Check the notes, no. Oh, it's John. Oh, look, look at, look at, this is a town hall. <laughs> check the notes. They said, check the notes. <laughs> See, the first couple of notes are the truth because he didn't know that I was going to say something. <laughs> These last couple of notes, we, he was probably do, playing it safe. It says interview. Were you gonna try? Uh, uh, Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> I think we know who wrote the mask. <laughs> Where, 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 oh, where the straight man at? Where the straight men at? Where the straight, where the straight, how you know you? <laughs> Somebody in the back, eh, hey, hey, you, where you? Let me find out y'all work together. Um, reassurance, everything I am. Depressed, overweight, girl was like, whoa. <laughs> He, uh, <laughs> well, you like, these ain't the notes to my show. <laughs> Chris, he got you in here too. <laughs> he got your fiance. He got. Why the pockets is there? Oh, there's our killer. <laughs> is that uh, yeah? Adam's still here. He oh, he ain't right number. <laughs> Nobody want to be in a book, but, 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 but once you realize you ain't in a book, you like. Oh. <laughs> he did okay, okay. Yeah, this it, um, lot, lot. Say it. Oh. Muslim POV, I mean woman POV, a woman put this together. He just, he taking like, they, they, I, they, they kind of like stenographer notes, really. Because <laughs> I thought I was going to read this and see, but it's like, if somebody saw this and had no idea what happened this night, they wouldn't be like, oh, so you were at a comedy show. <laughs> no, they would be like, Women POV, are you gay? Are you, <laughs> you, got, you got something you want to tell us? <laughs> Keon? Keon? <laughs> K A, K I A N. Uh, black Muslim POV, you were a woman again. I must have went back to the woman thing. Was I talking about being a woman alive? I feel like I didn't. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, and then the hour joke. Oh, I, would, I talked about my, um, and then he's feeling like Adam, because I had called, but if they don't laugh, I'm gonna feel like Adam. He wrote the hour. 
Adam, you made the book. <laughs> but then it says, oh, hour quick. Oh, hour quick. Oh, this quick hour. Okay. Um, and then we like written. We like written. What's that last word? You ever see some shit that's not helpful at all? Now, how? <laughs> now, <laughs> where will this be useful in your life? <laughs> um, I just like, it's cool to see how your brain works. You know, oh, okay. Like the callbacks, like the things with tags. It's, it's interesting to see how your point of view, like, really lends itself to, like, making jokes. Okay. So I, Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> I know I'm gonna be watching like that. <laughs> Look at him being like me. <laughs> I had fun. Did y'all have fun? <laughs> All right, let's go get some air, right? Let's go get some air. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Give it up for the crow one more time. They do show. Keep it going for Adam. Very good sport tonight. Keep it going.